Hello everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the brand new camera from Sony, which is the PXW FX9. Okay, I say I can say this F, this camera is a combination of three cameras from Sony. Venus, which is the top brand from Sony, which they have like the, the full film sensor, dual base, dual base ISO, and also an S Cine tone. And at the same time, they will have the light, the Z90 or the Alpha 9, which is a super fast accurate AF, which built in into this camera. At the same time, and then they will have like the same mobility on the FX FS7, which is like this, and then the small size, compact size, lightweight, and then this is a combination of these three cameras. So let's talk about the first thing, okay, which is the full film sensor. This, which is like the Venus, it is a 6K full film sensor and then from it. But uh, you will say, oh, 6K full film sensor. Oh, fantastic. And then, okay, can I record 6K? Uh, no at this moment, but I think in future, and then maybe they will have like a license or maybe a firmware upgrade and then which can record 6K, which I believe it is not officially like maybe announced by Sony. But the fact is, if they cannot do that, What's the point they have to put on a 6K sensor? They can put on a 4K sensor and then to lower the price, sell it cheaper and then rather than this. So I think that would be an upgrade or maybe you can say a license in the future. I hope uh, this is not officially by, uh, announced by Sony. Okay, and then the other thing is the, uh, the dual base ISO. What's a dual base ISO? So every camera, they have like a base sensitivity. For example, right, on the FS7, and then you will have the base ISO, which is the, at 2000. So in 2000 ISO, and then what's the situation is? For example, right, okay, in the bright sunlight, and then in a, in, um, in a beach, and then you want to take a shot, and then you will find out, but I want to have a very shallow depth of view. What's the situation is it is? And then you might need to do, you, can have, you have to put on a very heavy ND. At the same time, you have to like maybe uh, change the shutter speed. You have to change a lot of things and then to make, uh, to maintain the shadow depth of field. But if you, all the things you, you already do that and then what's the situation you can do? There is nothing you can do unless you put on more like ND filters in front of the lens. At the same time, okay, if you're in the night time, okay, which is like, for example, like we are, I have a shoot in the Victoria Harbour and then in the peak, I want to do like a night shot, but uh, maybe the base ISO is 2000, but um, uh, I find out, okay, the ISO I have to turn into like 12,600 and then what, what's the situations? You can imagine, I have to push the ISO in such a high level and then the noise in the dark parts and the hard dark area will be very obvious. So for this situation, the base ISO, the base, the base ISO will be a very good um, uh, solution for you. For the FS, now FX9, the base, the, due to two base ISO will be 800 ISO on the low, 4000 on the high. So for example, like when we're doing the, uh, uh, the shoot in the beach and then I'm using the 800, which is actually good enough and then I don't need to, like maybe I'm using the, um, um, the ND all the way. And then I still got like a very good like shadow depth of view. And then the other thing is when I'm doing the, the shoot in the night time and then I can put it into um, ISO 4000 and then even I go into like maybe uh, ISO, which is the 12,600 and then you can see the, uh, the noise the noise in the dark area, the dark parts, and then it's probably much better compared when you actually go into 800 pulls up into, uh, into 12,900. So this is actually a huge like, improvement and the functions when you are talking about like the noise compressions. So, and the other thing is, um, the Venus have a very good like maybe color tone, which is a S Cine tone. It now also put into the FX9. So I will also show you like maybe the difference in between the S Cine tone and also like the with, with your S lot. But beware that okay, if you using the scene uh, the scene EL to shoot, which is the S lot, uh, you cannot enable the um, uh, the S Cine tone. You can only do that when it shoot in custom. Okay, so this is uh, something which you need to know. And then the other thing is very accurate AF. Compared with the Z90, I think like everyone knows that the Z90, the A7, A9 is actually have a very fast response and also accurate AF. Now, this function have put into the FX9, which is good because for example, like maybe this is a camera not only for feature film, not only for doc, uh, short film, this is also for a documentary run and gun situations, news, and then for this situations, you might need to have like a very fast AF functions. 
compared with the FS7 or FS5, and then you know that the AF is very slow, and then it's not really reliable too. But now, okay, even I put on to like a G Master or maybe other lens, and then E mount lens, and then the performance is fantastic. And also they have a face detection, and then I can show you in the video. Okay, other than the, uh, the AF, it's also maintain the, uh, the mobility, which is the same as the FS7. So for example, like that, and then, okay, I can use it as a shoulder mount base, and then because it has a very strong accurate AF, and then I can really use this as a new, like maybe shoulder mount equipment, but with a very high-end, like full film sensor, which is a nice. And then, uh, as you said, uh, as I said, like, it's this very look light, it's very similar than the FS7. So let us bring in the FS7, and then doing a comparison in between each other. Okay, so this is, the FX7 Mark II, and then this is the FX9. So the first thing you will find out is the FX9 is in grey colour, this is in black colour. I think in future all the Sony camcorder in full film will be in grey colour, and then maybe the Super 35 will be in black colour. So I think that is the difference in between each other. And then the other thing is the output port. So in the, uh, in the FX7, you will find out it only have two SDI out and also HDMI, but in but in the um, uh, in the FS FX9 you will find out other than the SDI uh, one two and then it also have another port which is the time code in out or the uh, reference out, which is very important because the fact is if you're using this as a multi camera, and then you might need to have like a time code in or time code out or maybe even a gen lock for 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 mixer mixer. In these situations, if, you, if you're talking about an FS7, you might need to buy an adapter, which is the XDCA FS7, which is put into the back on the unit, and then you can do this. But the fact is, that adapter is causing quite a number of money. It's talking about like 15 to 16,000 Hong Kong dollars, which is not cheap. But now, okay, if you only for this purpose, and then the FX9 is already come with it, so, but for sure, okay, if you want to have a roll out, and then this will be, you can, you do still need to have like an XDCA FX9, and then to put on like a roll out from, from this camcorder. Other than that, okay, the, uh, the buttons function is also, uh, I can say is a small change, but it's uh, such a very big uh, difference when you're doing the operations. So you will see, okay, on the FS7, you will find out, okay, if I want to do a variable ND at the same time, I want to do the iris, which is impossible. Because the fact is, this button is actually serve the variable ND and also the iris. So that means, okay, if I want to do it at the same time, okay, sorry, this is impossible. But for the FX9, okay, it can do that. Because you see, the uh, ND is not, is different, it's now become a button rather than maybe a, a, a button in the front. At the same time, they also have a, have a knob which is specially designed to serve for the uh, variable ND. And at the same time, okay, for the iris, you can using this multifunction knobs and then to control it. I think this multifunction knob is one of the uh, 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 highlight on it for, for this camera because, okay, let us bring out the FS7, okay. For example, like when I'm doing the shoot, and then if I want to change the iris, and then I can use this to control it, and then I can go to the menu, and then I can set everything in here very easily. I can actually go access into any, any function it is. And also, you can still using this button to do this. But once I have this knob, I think this is probably useless for me. The menu button is still here, and but you can using the multifunction knob to control it, which is a very useful, easy to use, and also is also very um, nice, like maybe design for this. And then, um, other than that, okay, this is how the FS7 FX9 is actually designed. And uh, if you know want to know more about like this FX9, please visit ANS website. Facebook, Instagram, and also our YouTube channel. And also at the back, uh, on the next video, we will showing you some videos which uh, we have uh, actually going out in Hong Kong these two days and then doing some shoots and uh, with uh, some different functions on uh, through the FX9. So uh, please give us some comment and hope you like it.